So for this challenge, I need you to take video of you welding the can and then post a picture of the finished weld when you're done on Instagram. Tag myself, McCollum.WeldFab, and the Everlast account. The first person to do it will get the 200 DV sent to them. Okay, so about a year ago, you know, you always get a lot of questions about, oh, can you weld Coke cans? Oh, can you weld Coke can? So we welded two Coke cans together. And on the video for, for that, one of the comments was, well, can you fill up the groove like you're running a pipe weld? So we did that. Well, then everybody, you know, is, oh, that's the thickest part of the can. Anybody can weld that. Well, after you put a couple beads on it, of course you can weld it. So, okay. So let's weld the side of a can now. You want to weld the thinnest part of the can? Let's weld the thinnest part of the can. All right, so to weld the side of this can, I mean, we're basically tacking over the filler. So we're putting the filler down and then sending it some amperage, melting the filler, and then having it melt into our base material, which is the can. And then we just kind of move forward a little bit, arc up over the filler, melt it in, move forward, arc up over the filler, melt it in. So, I mean, you could say, are we really welding? Yeah, it's kind of like a, kind of like tacking almost, but we're stacking them nice and tight. So we are getting a pretty decent looking little bead considering the, the thickness we're welding. So on this weld, we're using, uh, using a 1 16th tungsten. I'm using 030 um, MIG wire. It's 5356. So there you go. Bottom of the can's the thickest part, blah, blah, blah. So there's the side of the can, the thinnest part. Well, I mean, anybody can kind of run beat on plate though. <sighs> All right. Guess we'll do this again. So I've thought long and hard about this, about how you're gonna get a nice clean cut on a can. Cause I've, you know, cutting them apart with tin snips, it gets all jagged and they get dented up. So to get a nice clean cut, I'm gonna fill this up with water. I'm gonna freeze it. After a couple hours, I'm gonna bring it back in the shop and cut it on my, uh, my vertical bandsaw. So we get a nice clean edge. I'm gonna stick them back together. And as far as, I've ever seen, I've never seen someone post a picture or a video of them welding up the side of a can. And so that's what we're gonna do to satisfy all the, uh, all the trolls out there. We're gonna cut a can and weld it up. So this is the first time I've ever, I've ever tried this. Um, so I'll cut the can apart, we've got it nice and clean. I'm gonna put it between my two blocks and use my uh, quick grip to clamp the blocks together to try to hold the can in place. Um, you saw I tacked it on the ends, trying to hold it together. And as we start running, I'm gonna use the same kind of technique as I did on the side of the can um, without the cut and just kind of try to put some filler down and then tack over the filler, move ahead, tack over the filler. And we're just gonna kind of roll with this and see, uh, see what we learn. Um, as I'm going along, this first part of the can, I, it actually laid over each other really nice. So it was a, you know, a butt weld. Some of the places a can, I could kind of get it to squeeze together a little bit, and it was a little bit of a lap weld. Um, and it's pretty difficult. <laughs> it's it's blowing away pretty easily. Even at, I'm running the machine at 20 amps, and I'm not even using all of that. I'm maybe using eight to 10 amps. Um, as we got down towards the end of the can, I kind of got in a pretty good rhythm. And actually having a slight gap in the cans actually helps because it, it helps the can kind of melt away and suck some of the filler in. And so actually the last third of the can, um, still not pretty, but it's actually together a lot better than the, uh, the top part. So yeah, and we uh, pretty much welded the entire side of this can. It's not pretty. There's a couple of spots where I burned through, but um, for what it is, and it's the ugliest weld I've ever been proud of, but I've never seen someone else do it. So 
So with the canned videos we posted, of course, we had a lot of trolls that were like, that's the thickest part of, oh, anybody can do that. That's been, I can weld tinfoil. Number one, the tinfoil is a party trick. Anybody can do that. It's not a skill-based uh, trick or, you know, like weld trick shot. It's not skill-based. It is literally a party trick. So with this, if anybody post video proof of them welding up a hollow can, no heat sink, welding up a seam on an edge of a can and does better than this, the first person that posts that video, we will send a 200 DV to them free of charge. No shipping, full five-year warranty, full deal. So if you want to put your money where your mouth is, Cut a can in half, weld it up, and do better than this, and you will get a free machine. So for this challenge, I need you to take video of you welding the can, and then post a picture of the finished weld when you're done on Instagram. Tag myself, McCollum.WeldFab, and the Everlast account. The first person to do it will get the 200 DV sent to them. So, the ugliest weld I've ever been proud of. I'm Jesse McCollum, remember, Weld mean, weld green.